the message that that I try to get across, you know, is that there's just this enormous imbalance, you know, in the world, you know, and we live just unbelievably wealthy, you know. There's just nothing we lack, but so many people absolutely are literally dying for something, you know, that we just throw away, you know. And I'm not saying you need to do what we did and go live with them, you know. I'm not against that idea, but I don't want to, but it, it just not have so much and keep it, you know. You start looking into solutions, and the solutions are not hard. You know, what do you do with hungry people? You feed them, you know. Well, you know, the United States throws away more food than the continent of Africa consumes, so that's not a hard problem. You know, there's a lot of extra food. The kicker is you have to be there. That's sort of the bite, you know. Good, I'm Laurie. Oh, that's so great. Oh, so you know, I think getting to know these people and you realize that their dreams and their wants, you know, and their aspirations for their kids are the same way. Yeah. They may not be, you know, as developed or they may not be as sophisticated as we think we are, you know, but they have those same dreams and they want that for their children. And we've built uh, 14,000 square foot uh, guest house, sleeps 60 people, uh, and uh, we've built a hospital. We do surgery in the hospital to deliver babies. Uh, we have a maternal health program, 350 ladies, see about 12, 14,000 people a year in our clinic who wouldn't otherwise have access to, to health care. As, as Americans, it's just, we've been blessed. And, and I think, you know, we're blessed give, not to keep. And we get that wrong. I think God blessed the United States hugely. I mean, you come at it from geography or rainfall or, you know, crop production or, you know, you know, stock indices or whatever you want to talk about. I mean, we're just, everything is just awesome. You know, I mean, just, it's just awesome. And you, you don't have to even go to Haiti to see that. It's like what you learn in kindergarten. You know, you just need to share. You know, just, just a little. I'm not saying that we all need to be socialists and, you know, but, it, you know, and, and that's what Jesus did. You know, the thing is, he left the ultimate rich, riches. He was in heaven, right? I mean, pearly gates, streets of gold, all that kind of stuff, right? And he chose to come down here and live like a guy in Haiti. He didn't live like I used to live. So I like to take that. If I'm a Christian, then I'm supposed to act like Christ. I mean, that's sort of the way that thing goes. And so I'm rich. I become poor so that, you know, Maria can become rich. And I think that's really Christianity in a nutshell.